Hello everyone and welcome to a themed vlog. As you can see from the title, we're going to be doing a Cry Baby tribute here. I have always loved that movie. It's been around since the 90s. It was supposed to be set in the 50s but based in the 90s. It's a film by John Waters. He actually based it in Baltimore, Maryland and that's he's from Maryland so it's kind of like his hometown. I'm sure it's one of the reasons why he wanted to base the movie there. It was kind of on the tail of Hairspray. So Hairspray was such a box office hit that when Cry Baby came around they were like everybody was chomping at the bit to get to this movie to be able to help release it and make some money off of it and it ended up being a box office this dud. People hated the movie. It got shredded in reviews and it's so funny because now it is such a cult classic. It's a movie I grew up watching and loving. When I was like in my early 20s I feel like the pinup 1950s thing was really kind of having a little moment and so I was cut that's when I cut, started cutting my bangs that's when I got into pinup and when I started just kind of embracing that whole era and this movie if you're a pinup person the greaser vibe Johnny Depp has like a Elvis thing going on but it kind of also goes hand in hand with people who are into tattoos like a lot of tattooed women that I know are also into the pinup thing so they kind of go together anyway so I just wanted to say that little bit about just like pinup in the background and then also John Waters so Tracy Lords who her character was Wanda Woodward was kind of the bad girl I just always thought oh my god I want to look like her like she makes me want to go get my lips done again because <laughs> they're just so like perfect I just watched the movie last night so it's fresh in my head I've seen it a million times but I watched it again last night just so that I had fresh like references for it and in the beginning of the movie they're all getting a vaccine it shows the characters this is like so clever John Waters to do it shows how each character takes a shot some of them cry some of them are tough some of them Wanda was like it hurts but it hurts so good <laughs> I just her reaction to getting her shot was just epic and I, I was thinking of course if it was me I'd pass out <laughs> so in this video we're actually going to be going on a treasure hunt we're going thrifting for a leather jacket and that is what sparked this whole thing I was thinking about how I wanted to go find a good leather jacket for spring to wear over top of really flowy dresses so I just needed a jacket for that look that I wanted to style but I wanted to make this the whole thing about thrifting for a leather jacket and turning myself into Wanda. That's Wanda. Dig it, babe. You need a new look. All of this was filmed yesterday, so I'm going to insert all of the yesterday footage of finding a jacket. And then today we got ready. We did some makeup together. We do some hair together. You're going to see it all, all behind the scenes of how I turn myself into Wanda and then take some photos. I'll show you the photos at the end of how it all comes together to become a crybaby character. Over to you, Sienna from yesterday. The outfit of the day for thrifting and going to the dentist. So I just have on some good American jeans, a Michael Kors thrifted, lovely little uh, dad shirt, my new ballet flats that I love. And then I threw on actually a beret or a beanie, what is this called? A beret, because my extensions are so grown out that it's at that point where the tape starts poking out through the hair. And so it's time, it's time for a refresh. Definitely need to refresh my extensions. Uh, so these little berets are really easy to throw on whenever that's going on. Now that we've painted our house black, <laughs> I've noticed that the camera fades <laughs> into the darkness quite a bit. I love the way it looks though, so I don't care. We're gonna go to, well, I'm going to the dentist. And then after that, we're going thrifting. We're gonna try to find the perfect leather jacket. Went pretty smooth, actually. Man, she was really scraping. Basically, if you haven't had like a teeth cleaning, I get it done twice a year. I just started kind of sticking with it actually because my husband was like starting to get really good about coming to the dentist. And I was like, okay, I need to do better. I kept like spitting the stuff out and it kept going down my face. I'm like, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> okay, let's go. So I just went to Value Village and they put all their jackets away. I do realize that spring is probably the worst time to go looking for leather jackets. This might not work. I might not have to do this video today. If I don't find a jacket, that's the whole point of this entire video is finding a jacket. But I'm not gonna go to more than four thrift stores trying to find it, but I'm gonna try. They're open. Let's go. The car behind me's windshield is completely smashed. It looks like it was just hit over and over again. I almost left. 
because I was like, nope, there's nothing here. This is the last place I'm gonna stop. I was thinking maybe, maybe I can go one more place, but I really didn't want to. It would have been the bins and I would have had to go digging in the bins. And I was like, you know what? There's just one more section. There's no coats on it, but I'm just gonna go look. And tucked away in between a bunch of shirts was a leather jacket. It has my name on it. <laughs> it's spelled different. It's got my name. <laughs> literally has my name on it and it was $12.99 I did it We're gonna do a little makeup together, which I think is gonna be good for all of those of you who follow me because of makeup. So let's just dive in. We're gonna use a lot of products that you already know that I'm newly using and in love with, and we're gonna try some new stuff as well. To prep my face, I'm gonna start off with the Biro Pear Serum Oil, and I always like to prep my face with something that will give the skin a little bit of a glow underneath no matter what foundation I'm using. Now we're gonna use some of the Smashbox Good Old Faithful Photo Finish Primer. And obviously we are focusing that on wherever our pores seem to be the largest onto foundation. You guys know I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm gonna use the four since I tanned yesterday. I'm really just buffing it in using this Smashbox foundation brush I've been loving my whole life feels like. I think I was born with this in my hand. <laughs> it's the best foundation brush. It really is. All right. That was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. There is a reel I just posted recently and I kind of quickly go through my brows. And then I'll go in with my NYX pen and just do little flicks on the center. So I'm going to go do the other brow, finish them, and then I'll be back. I'm going to take some translucent powder. So there. Now we're just finishing setting and we're going to move on to the eyes. You might have seen me using this in my Port Townsend vlog. If you haven't, go watch that next. It's a cute vlog. But this is the Wonder Beauty Sweet Escape, and it's very summery, springy. I love this palette. It has so many beautiful colors in it that are just, they just scream spring to me. Anything lilac, purple, as you know, it's like my obsession this time of year. Look at this on holiday one in the middle. Oh God, I just want to swim in it. It's so pretty in this color up here. I definitely need to play with in a video at some point. Maybe that could be the makeup that we do together is this because that would be really fun. I mean, obviously there's so many colors not even touched yet. I haven't even played with them yet. I've really been using these ones here, as you can see. In Crybaby, I was actually really paying attention to the makeup last night when I was watching it, and I noticed that so many people had the same makeup, almost like the makeup artist copy and pasted a few. I could be wrong. And I think the reason why is because all of the drape girls were talking to her about, let's give her a makeover. Let's give Allison here a bad girl beauty makeover. You game? Sure, I think I got what it takes. Whoa! So they just made her look like them and they have kind of like a uniform of makeup. So their makeup uniform was a light brown on the eye, a little bit of mascara, small, well actually a decent sized sharp wing that goes really up and a red lip. Obviously Wanda's red juicy apple looking lip. So we're gonna do that one for sure gonna go in with vacation mode They really didn't have a whole lot of eyeshadow on so that'll be easy <laughs> this part all I have to do is sweep this over the eye It's just a really light Brown color now we're going to take the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Graphic Pen. I got this in my last Ipsy. This was an add-on and I've been doing these more lately. I've been actually shopping the add-ons. I used to just skip them. I am an Ipsy affiliate so I'll add links to Ip Ipsy below and they usually have like a newbie sign up deal of some sort. Anywho, let's do this. 
This is a felt tip, which I'm surprised I like it as much as I do because I typically go for the ones that come to a fine point with a lot of tiny hairs. I've been saying that for years, but um, this one's the first felt tip that I felt like has a little give. It actually moves a little bit more. I'm going to turn around before this turns into an absolute disaster. Okay, well, I did speak too soon. I just tried to do a big wing with this. I think it was just because it was brand new. It was really hard to get a smooth, crispy line to happen, and it was the felt tip. It kept... It, the weird thing is, is with felt, like, I had to lean it to the side to get the product to come out, and then it starts to erase where I put any sort of product down so I'm going back over it and then it's making it clumpy because part of it's drying and part of it's wet and it's just this complete nightmare so I grabbed the hyper easy by Maybelline which I really like a lot and uh, this one has the fine hairs that come to a point and that's honestly I need to stop trying felt tip it just doesn't work for me now that we've got the look as far as her eyes I'm gonna do some under eye mascara as well I just realized I forgot that but bronzer I'm just gonna use the Marc Jacobs bronzer. Just, I love it so much. She has, it does, I don't even know if she's like wearing bronzer. It looks more like just blush, especially back in the 90s, because this was supposed to be set in the 50s, but was actually filmed in the 90s. And so it still has a little bit of that like 90s vibe to any sort of makeup. And even in the 50s, if they did their makeup, it would have probably been more focused on blush than bronzer. But we're going for it. We're going for it. And then I'm gonna use this. It's the Complex Culture. Uh, let's see what's the name of this good glow blush duo and this does have a little bit of a shimmer to it it's actually a really pretty blush i'm going to take this one right here so this is the superhero it mascara i got this in a sephora freebie it's just a little one they threw in there yeah look at that mm -hmm. she's coming together i want to use the give lip on this one i think this will really translate in photograph very close to hers and yeah, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work. Just turn on the curling iron so that's going and we'll be ready for the hair. Because the hair to me, I think it's gonna be the biggest part to look just like her. I really like this because of its applicator. It makes it very easy to apply. I feel like I'm coming together. I'm looking like a beauty queen. Oh, and the hair is gonna be so cute. Okay, ready? <sighs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, sometimes it just takes a little. Ugh. Sometimes you just gotta beautify yourself to feel better. Not that I wasn't feeling well. I will say my mental health lately has been kind of like up and down. <laughs> And that's why I got my adaptogens back because I felt like I was feeling a lot better mentally when I was having this once a day. I have a mole here and a mole here. They're like small, but they're there enough to where I like to darken them in. Take our little powder poof holder. A little bit of control over where I'm showing glow. Definitely don't want to around here because that's going to just look like I'm sweating, especially on camera just a little bit what I'm gonna do is turn you guys around because the bangs I need to, I need this mirror so you guys are gonna have to be looking at me from this perspective I'm gonna show you how I cut my Betty bangs never done that before ever usually this is really good just fresh out of the shower because my hair is super relaxed and then I blow dry it with a round brush forward so that I get it to all be exactly where it's gonna naturally lay whenever I blow dry my hair. So this morning I went and got it wet and then I did that, but it's curling a little because it's getting so long. Rat tail comb like this, just to get it all shaped down in position. Stages where I grow my bangs out and then I cut them again and then I grow them out and then I cut them again. It's just kind of the beauty of having Betty Bangs is that you can um, constantly mess with how you want them, you know? And this is going to be one of those days where they're going to be short. So we're going to take the scissors, just a good pair of sharp, sh sharp scissors, and then keeping it as straight as you can. I go back and pull. And then you got to brush them back again. And then do a little bit more. I start lower than I intend to have them so that there's room for cleaning up. I 
please, Mr. Jailer. Won't you let my man go free? That song's been in my head since yesterday. I just do that back and forth seesaw motion and that's just to make sure that I'm not going like this and pulling the hair with it so that it, when it comes back down, it's gonna be crooked. So if you go forward a little and then back, it pulls the hair back into a straight place. And this isn't any sort of like hairdresser technique or anything. It's just how I've been doing it for a really, really freaking long time. I've been cutting my bangs for an embarrassingly amount of time. It's like, I wait till bangs come back around again. <laughs> they go out of style. There I am chilling with my out of style bangs and then they come back around. But you know what? 50s and vintage is always in style. So I don't care what people say. This can be just be part of your personality. I know some people that bangs is like their personality. That is like who they are. They would look weird if they didn't have them. I just feel like I look so cute when my bangs are freshly cut. <laughs> I mean, if I do say so. Look at that. I feel like myself again. Oh my God. Sienna, when she has her bangs, is the true Sienna. Now, she has some really beautiful... I, her hair is my favorite part. It's a hairstyle that I've always loved doing on myself. So I think what would be best is to just go around and curl it to start. So we're just going to go bit by bit curling it. Now this is the new curling one that I got. This is one of the add-ons that I got with my Ipsy and it's just handy because I like to have a curler downstairs and then a curler upstairs. Here can reduce hot water costs as much as 60%. It's this simple. Install one, get a rebate, done. Curl. We'll back comb it up. And that's like a one by one per curl situation. Then we're going to get them really full and then we'll brush it out. Okay, this is gonna take some effort and lots of hairspray. I'm gonna take this. And we gotta make it. Ooh, I like this hair. <laughs> I feel like I ran like a lion with my lioness mane. But that is some boofy hair. So now we're going to go get dressed. Let's go put it together an outfit. I just had on this, like, my, my garden girl dress. Okay, so for the outfit, we're obviously going to go with the leather jacket that I got yesterday. I like that this doesn't have your typical, like, chains and looks like a biker coat because I don't honestly think I would wear that that much. This I would wear a lot more, so I really like that it looks more like a blazer, but it's still a leather coat. So we're still pulling off the outfit, but something that I'm not buying just for this video, I'm actually buying it because I'm going to wear it. Now for the skirt, you guys saw me get this in a haul. So if you watch that video, you'll recognize this. I haven't worn it yet. So I'm really excited to give it a go. And this is a very fitted pencil skirt, super tight. So I hope I don't split the seam in the back. Now I'm thinking a white t-shirt would be really cute with it. This is a Baja East shirt. That actually might be good because this one is really loose. Ooh, and loose Lux, that's so like Wanda cause she's like, you know, kind of loose. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead in a full skirt. My God, getting into this skirt is like squeezing a cream puff through a keyhole. This is the skirt, it's very fitted. This area, I just wanna get rid of that little poochy pooch. But yeah, here's the back. Looks great in the back, doesn't it? Very uh, hourglass shape. It's like pose, belly button, man. What do we think, is this the look? Or do we wanna do a dress? They all had on like white socks with black uh, flats. And I had just ordered a bunch of these. I've been meaning to incorporate them in a video somehow. They're socks with tulips and flowers all over them. And then they have these little decorative floral tops to them. Tulip, aren't they so cute? I love them so much. And I haven't even worn them yet. This would be cute with this because of the pink and it matches the skirt. So maybe I'll go with this one with my new black ballet flats. whole 
outfit really came together. Here's the photos, by the way. The photo of me standing outside in the outfit, and that's gonna go up on Instagram. Please do follow me over there if you don't already, and subscribe here if you don't. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hello, <laughs> welcome. I'm weird. <laughs> welcome to my crazy life, my crazy world, my crazy brain. <laughs> We're having fun here. I'm gonna go do some stuff now. I got things to do, I'm gonna edit this, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the whole thing. And I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever it is. I've got a whole list. We'll just start knocking that off. <laughs> okay, bye.